So we have before us the MSI Creator Z16 and the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus M16. Two Intel laptops, both with RTX 3060 GPUs, 16 inch screens, which one is right for you? Let's dive right in. First and foremost, let's talk about the build quality, and then we'll get to these performance benchmarks later in the video. Now, overall, let's take a look at the materials and size. As you can see, a much thinner package out of the MSI Creator Z16. But weight-wise, they're almost the same. Okay, I'm gonna have the weight pulled up on the screen so you can check that out. So if you want a thinner package, I would go with the MSI Creator Z16, though they're both gonna weigh about the same. Now opening and closing the lid is rather easy on both laptops. They open and close without any issues. Now assembly is one area that I'm gonna really point out the MSI Creator Z16. It has a very nice assembly. I like kind of the multiple two-tone materials they're using to put it together. It has no sharp or catchy edges. It's a very nicely assembled laptop. The assembly on the Zephyrus M16 is great as well, although it just has some more catchy edges. There's like these little knobs here and tabs here and some catchy spots right here where the hinge hooks into the bottom of the chassis, but it's secured nicely from the bottom cover into the side panels. So the assembly is good, but the way they've chosen to have some of these catchy pieces, it's not my favorite. So as far as assembly, I like the M16 a little bit more. Now this is a magnesium alloy and this is in a aluminum laptop. That's kind of the differences between the build materials. Now, if you're looking for ports, the M16 is gonna be where it's at. We have the HDMI port, network port, USB type A, two USB type C's, which are Thunderbolt. Both laptops are Thunderbolt equipped because they're Intel. And then we have our headphone jack. On the other side, we have a mini SD card slot and a USB type A. For the MSI Creator Z16, we have a mini SD card slot as well, which is great for expandable storage. Both these laptops take mini SD cards along with you. You can expand your storage on the go. I think it's a great feature. USB type C, Thunderbolt, USB type A, and the other side, USB type C, headphone jack, and USB type A. So if you're looking for more ports, the M16 is where it's at. If you're looking for a low profile on the go laptop, so far, it looks like the Z16 is where it's at. Let's go on ahead and open up these two laptops here and check out the screen size. So both laptops have these large 16 by 10 aspect ratio screens. So as you can see, this screen looks bigger but actually it has a larger bezel at the bottom. So if I move this up, they are the exact same screen. They are the golden ratio, 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen, uh, and they look great. They both have good brightness, color gamut range, and color accuracy. And for those exact results, you'll see them coming up on the screen now. Punch for punch, if I had to choose one of these screens, I don't like a glossy screen personally, especially if I'm working outside. The glossy screen tends to reflect more. So as you can see the light right there. So let's see if I can get the light to reflect on this one. It's just kind of like this, this light source rather than actually seeing what the light is. So that's why I kind of prefer a matte screen, especially for somebody who works outdoors more. Uh, that would be my pick personally. Regarding the keyboard and trackpad, there is no questions which laptop dominates this category. I mean, just look at the size of the M16 trackpad versus the embarrassing, and I'm gonna say embarrassing, the embarrassing size of the MSI trackpad. It's just not even a competition. And regarding the actual quality of it, I like the quality better on the M16 as well. Now, both keyboards are great. You're going to have more of a low profile, kind of MacBook Pro aesthetic keyboard over here on the M16. Quiet, tactile. This keyboard is going to be a little bit quieter, a little more of a gaming keyboard with a longer key press. Although this is a Steel Series keyboard, and I know a lot of you will enjoy that, especially if you are a gamer, this will be an advantage to you as it's more something you're used to on a standard gaming laptop. But both keyboards are good. I'd really be most concerned with the trackpad um, as uh, splitting hairs and, and comparing the differences. We have upward facing base speakers and some upward facing speakers here on the MSI Z16. And here's a quick audio sample of the trackpad and keyboard in use, and then a quick audio sample of the speakers in use. So you can check it out.
Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing differences between these two models, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Opening and closing these laptops is done very easily with one hand, no issues there, but let's go ahead and check out the screen flex. So see, we have quite a bit of screen flex on the M16, much less on the Z16. Because of that aluminum kind of thicker top cover uh, that it has on it, it has a more sturdy screen. But let's go ahead and check out the bottom for screen flex. A bit there. They're about the same on the bottom in regards to screen flex. And let's check the screen bounce. Mm, very close on the screen bounce as well. So overall, let's talk about build quality. If I were choosing one on build quality alone, if it had a better trackpad, I would go with the Z16 because it just has a better refined image, stance, and edges and corners, and it just looks more professional, more designed. However, that trackpad, I, I just can't get away from this trackpad, especially that this thing was made for creators. It is literally called the Creator Z16, and a gaming laptop, the Zephyrus M16, has a better trackpad. I just don't see where that came off. They have plenty of room to move the keyboard up and add a bigger trackpad, and they just didn't. And to me, that was severely disappointing when I opened this laptop. I had so much anticipation for the Z16, and when I opened it, I was just like, what happened? Like, who missed the, uh, the meeting? <laughs> that we needed a larger trackpad. Uh, let's go ahead now and check out the webcams. They both have webcams, and uh, here's a sample of each of those. Here's the webcam for the Rogue Zephyrus M16. Looks good. It's a little on the cool side as far as the temperature is concerned. A little bit grainy, but overall, it'll do the trick for any you know web meetings you might have. Here is the webcam for the Z16. You can see the color and the audio right now. It's definitely a little grainy. I've got good lighting on me, uh, but it'll do the trick as well. Regarding battery life, here are the results coming up on the screen now. I love the control you get in the iGPU mode inside of Asus Armory Crate, which gives us slight advantages on battery mode. Without further ado, let's get into the performance benchmark starting in Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench Single Core, and Multi-Core. The i9 really stood out in the simulated benchmarks, which is to be expected competing against an i7. But let's jump into 3D modeling and see the real world benchmarks, being that these both have RTX 3060 GPUs. Now, as we moved into After Effects, however, I saw the Z16 quickly climb up the charts and really align up neck and neck with the M16. So I was happy to see better results and them lining up more in After Effects. For the export times out of 4K, you can see the results coming up on the screen for each of the laptops. Both laptops come with Intel Quick Sync, so they both had great performance in regards to export times out of Premiere Pro. And then for playback, both 4K and 6K B-RAW were good. However, red footage struggled. Red footage continues to struggle, I'm trying to refine those tests to see if I can get better performance out of these laptops. But that is just such beefy footage. Within DaVinci Resolve, these are Intel laptops. They're not as optimized as, say, a Ryzen processor. But with these RTX 3060s, they have smooth playback in both 4K and 6K B-RAW. And then as we move to export times, but because I was using the free version of DaVinci Resolve, we saw slightly slower export times than could be expected out of the studio version. Now, here's one of my favorite tests. We're gonna run both laptops on different fan modes to check the fan noise, thermals, as well as the export times for video editing out of Premiere Pro. Now, one thing I will note about the fan noise is that the M16 did not have any fan noise at idle. This laptop, whenever at idle, the fans were running. Now it was about 28 to 32 decibels of fan noise, which 
if in a, in a noisy room, you wouldn't notice. But if you're in a quiet office space like my studio here, it got annoying. More the fact of like, why is the fan running? It's not doing anything. And so that was a little disappointing. Also, this might just be my model, but at around 40 decibels of fan noise, there started to be kind of a like a clicking noise. Why is it a clicking noise and why is the fan on anyway during these simple tasks? So punch for punch, if you're gonna be choosing one of these laptops, I'm gonna lean towards the M16. You can see the Photoshop results coming up on the screen right now. They both handle Photoshop very well. But is there, in regards to like the full complete overall package, the quality on the Zephyrus just stands out a little bit more and the usability just stands out a little bit more. This is a great looking laptop. It has good performance, but it wasn't necessarily great, especially paired up to the RTX 3060 and the i9 processor. And these two are pretty neck and neck as far as price is concerned. So if I had to put my money somewhere, I'd put it on the Asus Zephyrus M16. However, this is such a great looking laptop. So it disappoints me to say that I would turn away from it for a good to great, I guess this would be an awesome looking laptop. Anyway, comment below which one you like better. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if we don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.